What's going on guys, this is Etzer here, and today we're going to be looking at a series of videos all titled Geometry Dash in real life. I'm going to look at a few of these cases today that really stuck out to me from the general format, mainly because of their absurdity, possibly their edginess, um, and varying degrees of production quality. So uh, we're just going to take a look at a few of these today, and I hope you enjoy this video. So the general format of these videos are kids and sometimes adults Fucking 30 years old. We got a 30 year old man calling me fucking ugly on a goddamn social media website. Kids and sometimes adults running around their house jumping over orange traffic cones, which are the spikes, maybe jumping on wooden blocks, monkey bars, you name it, to the tune of songs that are in Geometry Dash, Can't Let Go, uh, Back on Track, things like that. And then when they reach the end of their uh, homemade level, They'll jump around, scream, make a joke, do a dance, something fun. I just want to put it out there that I have absolutely no problem with what these kids are doing. I think it's great. It's hilarious to look back on when you grow up a little bit. Um, I did it as a kid with Minecraft, of course. Hey guys, um, City Games here, and I Etzer are here, and I'm playing a map called Sewer Survival. It's pretty cool looking. All right. Something. All right. Whoa. This is cool. Yeah, these Geometry Dash parkour videos are fine. I have no problem with them. I definitely would be making these too if I were younger. I think this is a great idea. Uh, there are a couple interesting takes on them, however. Uh, the first one comes from a YouTube channel by the name of Tree Stalker, and it has a roughly 25,000 views. Uh, and you'll you'll catch on pretty quick what I'm finding wrong with this. Character one, the slightly feminine man. Character number two. The suicidal jackal engine. Obviously, this is meant to be a joke. I understand that. Um, it's just, it's not funny at all in any way. But the video does pick up again and it ends up being not bad. Your number three. I, I don't know. Whatever you want to call it. I don't know. It? Sure, it. Character number four. The alpha male. Character number one. Choice of necklace aside, that's not even how you cheat in Geometry Dash. This is how you cheat in Geometry Dash. Oh, rip. Cheat code, yes! So the next two videos are not in English, so I'm not 100% sure what they're saying, but I can assure you that whatever they'd be saying would not make up for how stupid they look making these videos. You can just imagine how stupid they would look without the effects, and to be honest, how stupid they look with the effects too. Acting skills on point. Uh, I think what's going on right now is he got trapped inside the game and he's trying to get his friend to get him out. Although, I really don't know because nothing about this screams Geometry Dash besides the fact that there's Stereo Madness playing in the background. Really, it's just a green screen with him pretending to fall all over the place while screaming like a madman. 
and yeah, I don't really know. I'm sorry guys, I was wrong. Um, apparently Geometry Dash is bouncing around a giant blue cube and throwing up a ton. I've been recording the wrong game for the past two years, and I'm going to start recording the actual Geometry Dash on my channel from now on. Carrying along the theme of the last video, we have another one where a uh, guy is jumping over uh, spikes, blocks, some Minecraft stuff, uh, and it just gets really bizarre, muddled, and just turns into something completely different from Geometry Dash. I just want to make it clear to this guy that uh, UFOs are not obstacles or spikes that you jump over. Uh, they're vehicles that you use to get around. So I don't know why he keeps jumping over them, but I guess just you do you, you know? no, <sighs> 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 I just want to put a reminder out there to all the people who play Geometry Dash. Guns don't exist in the game. Vomit does not exist in the game. Doppelgangers do not exist in the game. And the final video we're going to be looking at today is a video by Taylor the King with a different take on the Geometry Dash in real life idea. Um, it's definitely in the same category as the others where without the effects he would just look flat out stupid doing what he's doing. But... To be honest, it's by far the best video, and it looks really nice. So let's just take a look. Wait one second. Guys, I figured it out. Taylor the King is leafy. Let me explain this to you. When that ball hit his head, it knocked him out and took out the part of the brain that controls your human decency. Leafy does not have human decency. Illuminati confirmed. Next, when he got knocked out in the head, look what happened to his chin. His chin fell out of the shot. Illuminati confirmed. Where's Luffy's chin? Illuminati. And if this 25 seconds of unsupported rambling doesn't convince you that Taylor the King is Leafy, allow this last theory to prove it to you. When you rearrange all the letters of Taylor the King, it spells, Leafy is here. It, ac it actually doesn't, but it would it would be really cool if it did, because that would that would help. Yeah. Um, shit. Uh, anyways, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Um, I'm sorry for kind of a lack of videos lately. I have a lot of stuff planned, and I hope to see you in the next video.